My name is Rose B. Simpson. I'm from Santa Clara Pueblo. And I'm an artist and a mom. And a, I like cars. And I work in clay and lots of mixed media. I make sculptures. I chose this piece because it really hit me in the gut and that it uh, represented an experience that I'm very familiar with. You know, I have a, I've had a photo of this piece on my refrigerator <laughs> for, I guess, a year now, you know? And I, I feel like I've, I've developed a deep relationship with this piece, and I have a, a, a dear love for it. Our aesthetic is heuristic, right? So our aesthetic's very based on place. And so, you know, I look around this room at all the different pots, and they're made in different places with the clay that's there and the clay that's in Acoma is different than the clay that's in Santa Clara and that's going to change how those pots look. And so, you know, the way the wind blows, the way the light shines in the fall, the way we've interacted with our worlds and have for lifetimes that deep genetic memory of place that builds aesthetic. And this is that, right? This is. This is uh, generations and generations of an aesthetic built in place. I've always been, we got to keep our people alive in order to learn our traditions. You can't, you know, we can't be passing on the language if we're not there. I feel like I chose this pot because my life work has been about honoring that story. And not just the pretty parts, and not the, the, the ones that are, you know, exploitable, easily digestible, palatable truth that people really want from our story. And there's the genocide. There's the deep heartbreak. There's the denial of it. The work, the hard work to try and live through that pain. There's the, all the layers of that all the ways that we work to survive, right? And what does that look like? And there's so many ways that manifest. And so what, is, what does healthy look like? What is alive? What is living? What is real experience and an active life full of agency and clarity and health and direction and humility and hard work and rest? What does that look like? Not to romanticize or dramatize, <laughs> but it is, you know, there is like, there is like, um, because I, I worry about the exotification of, of the victimry. And that to me, this, that's not what I'm trying to do. I want to be clear about that, right? I'm not exotifying that victimry or playing that role. It's about uh, this deep self love and in the awareness of that, that trauma that we wear and the, the wearing of that journey on our skin and in our souls. I love you for all that you are, all the layers. I see you. I see your power. I see your fragility, your vulnerability. And I love it. And I'm thankful for it. And I'm sorry for all the things I cannot see and all the actions that I have been blind and numb. But thank you for reminding me. <laughs>